Sun Valley, Ketchum, Idaho. Nice, nice. Um, we're here talking about uh, Pamela the Tunk. Do I have yes. that right? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the about the piece? Yes. Um, well, Pamela is a mixed media sculptural installation artist. So each series that she does um, can be varied in materials. So right. she's kind of always changing. She's worked um, in cast bronze. She's worked in resin, eggshells, all different media. This particular series with um, deer um, was kind of, the genesis for this was looking at Flemish and Vanitas paintings nice. and the, the memento mori tradition and the idea of being mindful of death and being mindful of the shortness of life. Right. And she looked at taxidermy as a traditional art historically through the ages yeah. um, and how interesting it was, you know, having these animals that were once living and yeah. positioned in various poses. Um, and something that we want to collect and keep, and keep that memory. So there are actual animals There underneath. are not. No. This is kind of a take on traditional taxidermy. This, okay. These are all um, a, a high-density foam. So kind of like Bruce Nauman does with, with his installations yeah, with, with the, the foam. With the yeah. foam yeah. So it's foam, it has a metal armature underneath for stability. Um, and then all the tapestries here are vintage tapestries, mostly about maybe 90 percent or more from France. Um, and then she creates, it's almost a bit of quilting or sewing, if you will, because she creates a muslin pattern that she'll drape over the form. Are they found objects or are they made objects? The, the, the they're, a bit of, they're a bit of both. Okay. So these are sourced um, vintage tapestries. Right. Um, and so she'll, she will find tapestries that have a similar palette or maybe a theme right. of a story that she's trying to tell, and she will piece those together. So it's almost like quilting. Um, and that's how she covers the animals, the form. So, and then all of the the ears and eyes and hooves and things are all sculpted um, with a fast drying clay. Oh, so that's the yeah. leaves and things are. Yeah, fast those those clay. are kind of an epoxy clay. Nice. Um, and these are the ears, fabric, and the, and the tail are bucktail, which is actually used. Uh, most people use them for fishing lures, oh, okay. so you get kind of these wild, vibrant colors nice. um, that she uses. So, how long has she been working? Oh, for a number of years. We started representing her, she's in her 60s, oh, nice. um, and she um, has really, we started showing her work earlier this year. We had a show of all of her um, deer sculptures, so these are just a few. So how is the um, uh, the fair treating you guys? Are you yeah, enjoying it's, it here? It, we always enjoy it. We've been nice. here for about four years. We come every year. And nice, nice. So it's Since always, the beginning then. Yeah, it's always exciting to to come and uh, exhibit what we have in Sun Valley and nice. show a well, variety of artists. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great meeting you.